Welcome to Electronica. Okay, so you have a smart home. Cool. And you want to improve it and maybe add a lighting control to your current system only to realize that what you want to add is not compatible with your smart home voice assistant, for example. This is a common problem that we are seeing more in the industry. We at ST know that to facilitate IoT technology adoption, devices must be smart enough to talk a universal and open language based on a common application layer and on a proven wireless tech. Devices also must follow a standardized and simple installation procedure, be secured and certified for interoperability. Matter is the new and recently launched open standard that has been developed with exactly this target in mind. For example, Matter 1.0 supports the use of Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Google Home and Samsung SmartThings, all in the same environment, reading users of connectivity issues caused by brand segmentation. And today at ST, we are very proud to show how the CSA Matter technology is seamlessly supported on our multi-protocol STN32WB wireless series. And of course, ST is convinced about Matter's benefit to IoT market and committed to deliver the right solution to the Matter deployments. ST is a member of the CSA Board of Directors and it is fully supportive of this new technology. Okay, but what is Matter? Matter defines a universal language on top of IPv6 based technologies like Wi-Fi and Thread. It allows a seamless end-to-end -end infrastructure to exchange information from an end node up to the cloud and vice versa. For a new device joining the network, Matter defines an easy installation phase over Bluetooth Low Energy. And it finally implements security mechanisms and cryptography to secure the data and the network and to protect your data. Exciting, don't you think? Okay, let's see how Matter Network works. Let's consider a lighting system or a door lock or a thermostat. All these implement the application they are meant for on top of Matter and Thread layers. In addition to that, each and device must support Bluetooth Low Energy for the commissioning phase. Once commissioned, the end nodes leverage on the thread to join the wireless mesh network. When an end device needs to send information back to the cloud, it has to go through a border router, which is making the bridge between thread and Wi-Fi or Ethernet. A border router is usually a gateway in which a thread-based radio coprocessor, or RCP, is connected to the host processor that manages Wi-Fi or Ethernet connectivity to finally reach the cloud. Now, let's move from theory to practice and have a look at our demo showcasing a matter lighting application. A key element is, of course, our STN32WB55, which is embedding large memories up to 1 meg flash and 256KB of RAM and supporting external memories for execution or storing photo images. Matter Emulated Light as an end device is running on a discovery kit, which is based on an STN32WB55 module. The gateway or the border router is based on STN32WB55 nucleo board, connected in RCP mode to the host processor that is finally connected to the cloud. The commissioning over Bluetooth Low Energy on this device is already done. Yeah, we can show how the emulated lights are dimmed or switched on and off through a smartphone app. The smartphone is Wi-Fi connected to the border router, which is also connected to the thread network. When we dim the lights, the matter commands travel over Wi-Fi from the smartphone to the border router, which routes over thread to the lighting demo that applies the settings and reports back its status. It looks very easy, right? In fact, STN32WB facilitates matter deployment as it can be implemented as both the end device and the RCP for router or gateway. If you want to know more about the STN32WB and matter, please go to st.com or get in touch with your ST representative. Thanks for watching.